Hello Champions! Welcome back to the Coding Boom! In this video, you will get the full clarity about the H tags and P tags in the HTML and you will also get knowledge about what is the use of heading tags and paragraph tags in the HTML. In the previous video, we learned about the total HTML structure and also we made a first website by using HTML. If you missed that video, just click this suggested video and watch that video. Heading tags so The heading tags are most important when you making a website. The use of heading tags in HTML is to define the heading of the web page. For the better understanding purpose, let us see this Taj Mahal example. So you can see in the screen that Taj Mahal is the title of the below content. So you can see the Taj Mahal is the main heading and we have subtitles inside this paragraph like inspiration and architecture and design. This is another heading inside this architecture and design subheading. We have another subheadings like garden interior design outlying building and to make this type of headings and subheadings we use heading tags in the html the html offers six levels of heading tags those are h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 from h1 to h6 only each heading tag has its own property like size and something else we already observed that in or Taj Mahal topic let us see practically what is heading tags exactly let me open our sublime text editor and to work in mobile just open AWD application which we have already installed in the previous video and just follow me so now we are in the sublime text editor so to get our total HTML structure in the sublime just type left angular bracket and then html like this you can see and just click enter so we will get the total structure of the html like this for the mobile we already have the structure and in the title section i will name it as second html tutorial to make the content visible in the web pages we need to write our code in the body section you can see these two body sections so let us write our heading tags in these two body tags. The first heading tag is H1. Let me write it. Left angular bracket H1. And click enter. You will see H1 opening tag and H1 closing tag with the forward slash. So if you want to apply this H1 tag to any text content, we need to write our text in between these H1 tags. Let us see what happens. I will write this is h1 tag in between these h1 tags and to see the output just click on files and click on save and just minimize this sublime text editor and find the file I have saved that file in this folder so just double click in it you can see here this is h1 tag so the text content will change to the bigger size so that is the use of h1 tags in the html so as i told you in the previous video the html stands for hypertext markup language so the markup means predefined i already told that in previous video markup means predefined so there are so many predefined things in the html we will talk about it so what we did here we just type h1 tags and we just put some information some text content in between these h1 tags so the output is changed we just write this is h1 tag that is normal text in between the h1 tags so what happens the normal text is converted to, to the bold and the size of this text is increased this automatic conversion is nothing but predefined values the h1 heading is the main heading in the web pages and other headings are comes into the subheadings let us write all heading tags so h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 let me write same content in between these tags 
let us save it uh, let us click on save you can use control s here and let us execute it to execute any other changes you just need to save it we have already the web page in the internet explorer just open it you will see at the top refresh button so just click refresh we will get the saved information of the html you can use control r to refresh this page observe here you can see the difference between each line so each line has its own property like h1 is bigger and h2 is smaller than h1 and h3 is smaller than h2 and h4 is smaller than h3 like that so each tag has its own property so we have only h1 to h6 tags in the html so what happens if i put h7 h8 h9 tags also let us see what happens so let me write h7 and h8 h9 let me put same information between these tags also just save it and open our web page and just click refresh so we can observe h1 to h6 the size is decreasing step by step but when i write some text content in between the h7 h8 h9 and other tags what happens nothing is changed just the content is added as a normal content no changes will be applied to these tags because html offers h1 to h6 tags only so finally we got the confirmation about the html heading tags so we have h1 to h6 tags only okay we have done our heading tags now to write paragraphs in the html we need to write p tags so we can write paragraphs without writing p tags but why we need p tags oh let us see let us see the difference between with p tags and without p tags i will write paragraphs without using p tag here you can uh, I, i just copy from this and paste it you can see there is no p tags so i will put the same text information in between these two p tags uh, let us save it let us see what happens nothing is changed we write without using p tag and we write with using p tag the two paragraphs are looks like same so why we need to write p tags means if you want any changes in your paragraph like if you want to change your color of the paragraph so or if you want to change your font of your paragraphs so you need to write p tags how let us see now i will apply some changes to these two paragraphs let us see the difference i want to change this paragraph color and font to change the color and font i will use css styles here don't confuse i will explain these styles later so here just observe the difference only okay difference between with p tag and without p tag so now i will apply some changes to these two paragraphs inside this p tag i will write style equal to color red and i will change the font style okay to change the font style i will use font family to cursive so don't confuse i will explain about this style later so just observe the difference okay i changed the color and font of this paragraph by writing this code whatever changes i have done here i am just copying here pasting this style in that paragraph you can see i just copy this style and just click on copy and paste here i just click on right click and pasting here so whatever changes i have done here the same changes i am writing here so let us see what happens uh, let me save it and open it and just click on refresh yes you can see the color change here for the first paragraph nothing is changed here just the style properties are added as a normal text only no changes will be applied here you can observe this paragraph this paragraph the color is changed and the font also changed you can observe so to make a website we need to customize anything anything in the website we need to customize it okay for that we will use tags so we can write paragraphs without using p tags but we can't customize it so we use p tags for the paragraph and customize any changes that we want okay so i hope you understand about p tags in html 
Till now, we learned about heading tags and p tags successfully. If you have any doubts according to this video, just comment down below and subscribe this Coding Boom channel and get more videos like this. Happy learning. Peace. Peace.